Hi everybody, Daniel here, and today I stink. As the title suggests, I've bought a Home Buyer Gas 6 Formula 7, and I'm in the process of emptying the old digester, using that digestate, and putting it into the Home Buyer Gas system. And was, I've done this before, and it stinks just as much as the last time I did it. But we'll get into it. So first, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone that watches my videos, subscribe, like everything, because this would not be possible without you guys. I've used the monetary values that I've made from my videos to buy this system. Uh, so it actually came from Sydney. I ordered it online. There was a 20% off sale. I thought, you beauty, uh, I'll jump on that. And it came from Sydney. It arrived in a week and I've just been setting it up and we'll go have a look. So the Home Buyer Gas 6 came in two boxes. Uh, for a list of what was in the boxes, you can go on their website and I'll tell you. So then I made a bit of a pad near the house. I could lay it all out, put plastic down, and then I rolled out the kit. And I've started filling it up out of the rainwater tanks. I actually took quite a long time to fill. Uh, as you can see there, it's getting bigger and bigger. And a bit more. It's progress. Now I actually had to strap it in because uh, of the slope. And then it was time to start emptying the other the biodigester. So I think just over time, the silicon around that I had uh, on these is just worn out. So I did a slight turn of this to try and drain, you know, through the outlet nozzle. But yeah, this gave way, so that's how I'm emptying it now. And it's nearly down to that level, so it started to slow down. Yeah, this is a bit gross. Just emptying from the front now. Hang on. Oh, I had a bit of a blowout and I've got crap everywhere. Uh, like little chunks of food that hasn't been processed. See that? There's all floaties and that on. Yeah, she's lovely. As I've always said, if you're in a buy, I guess, uh, don't be squeamish and expect mess. So you're just doing the final bits of the uh, liquid down in here in this tank. So we're emptying out all this and then putting it in the home biogas system. So this is already activated, all the bacteria is all rocking and rolling and eating food. We'll put it into the, the other tank, uh, which is what, 4,000 litres, I think the home biogas 6 is. So like this here is only a 1,000 litre tank. And because I keep an air gap there, that line there is where it was filled. So I'd say about 800 litres. And it's like, and that's if I get all of it into the 4,000 litre biogas system, it's going to be pretty diluted. So I've got some manure that I'm going to try and um, macerate and put in the tank as well, the new home biogas system, and then I'll get it activated. Uh, looks like liquid fertilizer, and then you got this uh, bottom slurry. And I think this is the most important stuff to put in, really. This bottom slurry. I've hit the tipping point. I filled this up with water mostly because I knew I was going to be adding stuff from the other tank. So on the last dregs of the slurry in the, um, the old tank, so I had it pretty spot on. It's good. And just another observation from last time I emptied the tank as well. Confirmation that eggshells again do not digest, they do not break down. So this is the front hole, port hole that I made for the food inlet. And she's pretty chockers. Oh, that's all just food waste and grease and all sorts of muck. See, that's the outlet hole. So there's still quite a bit of sludge in there, and all the solid waste. On the home biogas system, you know, there's no drainage hole. And like, if you want to empty it or move it, so I reckon you don't have to, but that's a lot of sludge. 
Like that goes down inches, like, you know, at least another, geez, six inches or so. And that's above the hole there. So that's quite a bit. I don't know how that's going to fare up after a couple of years worth of use. Cool, now let's poke it with a stick. Yum. Awesome. Oh, so it's been about 16 days since uh, we first started producing gas. Been feeding quite regularly, don't have as much as I'd like to put in, um, but as you can see, we've got gas. Not quite full, but um, yeah, it's good. It's a big unit and it takes a lot of food to fill it. And to fill this bag, probably take another couple of days, but I haven't used any yet. I haven't tested the gas or anything, just waiting until it's full and then um, I'll start cracking something on the, uh, on the stove or something. Oh, well, what has been a second for you has been a year for me. Today is the 1st of September 2024, first day of spring. And it's lovely, it's nice and warm, I've actually been quite hot this year. Um, so as you can see, it's still up and running, still performing. I haven't had any complaints with it uh, after a, like nearly a year's worth of uh, operation. Yeah, so where it is outside, it's actually mostly in the shade. I've pruned this mango tree. I've had some bananas there. Um, birds have actually gotten into the bananas and made a mess. But for the most part, um, throughout the year, it hasn't really, so I'd say maybe slowed down a little bit in winter, but it, like we've had a warm winter, so. Um, it's been still producing. Uh, we've got our biofertilizer that's still going to there. So the only real problem that I had uh, throughout the year is I thought it stopped producing gas for a couple of weeks, but um, that was my my fault. So I've actually rigged this up, not the way that the manual, <laughs> it's in the manual, but I like to see the gas bubbling. So I added my scrubber and just dodged up the plumbing. Uh, so what had happened is the condensation had built up there and produced a bloody uh, a water lock. So it was just getting back pressure and then it would bubble out the top here. So when the gas bag is full, it actually bubbles out here just to release that pressure. And you got your carbon filter inside there, so that's essentially your scrubber. So, yeah, and I, had, I actually haven't used all the sandbags that was in the kit just enough to sort of get that pressure and equalize it out a bit. But otherwise that's plumbed via that yellow pipe up to the little uh, stove and it's been good. So I guess pros and cons, I was a little biased. Um, I'm not affiliated with biogas, home biogas in any way. Is I really do like the large feed in of uh, with the IBC setup I've made quite a lot of mess and this goes really well as you saw from emptying the other tank there was a lot of sludge in the bottom I do wonder what's going to happen with this over time I think the old systems used to have a outlet down here but they used to fail so they took them out but uh, on their website it says you don't need to, don't need to empty it. So we'll see after a couple of years worth of use. I guess my main dislike of the system is not being able to see the gas produced. So you sit up on the balcony and you can hear it go blub, 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 blub over time. Um, but I'm a sucker. I like to actually see it bubbling. So that's why I added that in. Um, but other than that, there's not really too much to fold about it. It's pretty simple. Once you get it set up, feed it, stuff comes out, gas comes out, use it, keep going. Um, the size of it, 
4,000 litres, it's substantial. And given that, it does take a bit more to feed, but usually it only gets a 20 litre bucket of food per week from me, and that's suffice. It hasn't complained, so <laughs> it's good. Well, I've got the old decommissioned biodiesel just as behind me. It's been a hell of a ride. We've learned a lot. I've been able to share lots of information with you guys about building DIY systems. Um, if it wasn't for you guys watching and support of the channel, I wouldn't have been able to get that home biogas system and give that a whirl. So we'll see how that proves itself over the next couple of years. See if uh, there's any faults or issues I come up with. So far, it's been okay. It's been, you know, no maintenance. Just feed in, feed out. It's been good. Anyway, I think that'll do it for this video. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.